All right, so so I'm starting off the day. I want dopamine to kick in. I want focus, happiness, excitement for for my goals, and I want to I want to be super smart. Okay, so let's take that example and let's talk about some behavioral things that give the dopamine system buoyancy, and then we can talk about nutritional and supplementation things that really push it a little bit harder. So there are a couple things that we need if we want to be energetic and in focus. And I'm going to add another neurochemical on focus as we go along, just a heads up. Um, so if we want to have energy, we need that norepinephrine system working well. It works alongside a, a neurochemical called cortisol. And cortisol is always talked about as bad, this stress hormone, but you want cortisol high during the morning. You want it to peak in the morning and get you going. It's what wakes you up in the morning out of sleep, actually. And to do that, you, that's why I'm a big proponent of this, getting sunlight in your eyes first thing in the morning. And if it's in your practice or, or you're inclined to do it, trying to get some movement first thing in the morning. You don't have to do your full bout of exercise. If you do, can do it in the morning, great. But you want to try and get some movement, maybe at least 10, 15 minutes. It could be a walk, could be a run, could be jump rope, could be jumping jacks, could be anything really, just movement. That's going to get the norepinephrine system primed because you have the adrenal glands, which sit above your kidneys, and they kick out norepinephrine and cortisol and get your system awake. Now, the dopamine system is really about picking a goal and a target. So this is why it's so crucial to identify what you're going to try and accomplish in, say, the before noon or in the first hour of your day or the first two hours of your day, really setting a goal and even just setting that goal, you should just mentally reward yourself that you're on the right path for setting that goal. And to the extent that other things start to leap to mind, you should really try and push those aside and stay focused on that goal. The reason is if you can stay focused on that, you're going to get the dopamine reward as you move forward. It's going to feel, might feel a little tough depending on how well you slept or how poorly you slept. But if you reach that goal, you're going to feel a dopamine release. It's going to get you better at focusing on singular goals. Now, there's another way to get your dopamine in the morning that's going to take you off track. And I'm guilty of doing this. The other way to do it is to wake up. You feel kind of groggy. You are moving toward your goal. And you can also get your dopamine from picking up your phone and starting to you know, flip through Instagram. You'll get your dopamine one way or another, but you're not really on a specific path unless your job is to go provide likes for someone that owns an Instagram account. So you want to pick a targeted goal and you want to move toward that goal. And ideally you do it in the early part of the day because it really does prime this dopamine system to be able to do that more regularly. So here's, here's the thing that's really key is forward movement, whether or not it's toward a cerebral or intellectual goal or it's physical exercise for literally forward movement triggers release of dopamine. This, uh, my lab published a paper in 2018 in the journal Nature showing that forward movement, especially when there's a low level of stress in the system, when you're a little stressed, promotes the release of dopamine, okay? Forward movement also quiets the activity of the amygdala, this threat detection center in the brain. Forward movement toward a specific goal, and you're always in forward movement of some kind. The question is, are you in forward movement toward a focused, valuable goal or not? So that's why you know, you hear about these practices of setting out the plan the night before, or, um, you know, some people wake up and they're very focused. Other people like me, I wake up and my mind is a little still discombobulated from sleep because in sleep, our mind is discombobulated. We're not able to form plans. And it takes me a while to transition out of sleep. So I use 10 to 15 minutes of exercise as a way of, of amplifying that epinephrine and dopamine system. So I'm actually just moving towards something. This morning, I didn't have much time. I literally took a, a 10 minute jog. It's not my round of exercise, but it has me moving forward and it puts me on a path. So there are a couple other things. Um, again, not a nutritionist. Um, I don't study supplementation, but there are some things that I do that I think are very valuable and that people in various high performing communities do. One is a lot of people nowadays are, in, are into intermittent fasting. Fasting itself will stimulate the release of norepinephrine. And in, interestingly, it will also slightly increase the amount of dopamine because it puts you in kind of anticipation of a goal. Now, normally that goal is food if you're very, very hungry, but there's this ancient mechanism whereby when our blood glucose is low, we tend to have, even though we might be a little um, hungry and a little bit agitated, it tends to focus us on things outside ourselves. It means we need something outside ourselves. So we're less content to just sit on the couch or less content to just be quiescent as uh, contrast that with after you've eaten a big meal, 
right? You're, you're probably more comfortable to just sit down and relax. And that's not an accident. So if you're going to practice intermittent fasting, I don't really do that in a strict way. Um, you could do that in the, uh, in the morning. Sometimes people find that that helps them improve their, their focus because fasting can improve focus. Now these are short-term fasts. I'm not talking about day-long fasts. I'm talking about just waiting, to, pushing your first meal out. If you're feeling stressed, it, because sometimes being in forward action, you're caffeinated, you slept well, you're in action, can make you feel stressed and, and you're having a hard time focusing. The way you focus is by training the focus system. And the way you do that is by setting your sights on, on an immediate goal and a horizon that's close in that you know you can accomplish. And it can be an even trivial one. It can be, look, I'm gonna make my cup of coffee. I'm gonna sit down. I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna take care of four email and that's it. That's my first goal. Now, of course, that's not your entire goal for the day, but it's goal-directed behavior. And so you're you're coupling the neural circuits for focus with the neural circuits for goal-directed behavior with the neural circuits for energy and agitation. You're getting those aligned, they're, they're coherent. Whereas when you sit down and you look at your phone and you're getting likes from Instagram and trying to take care of some emails, your neurochemical systems are kind of split, they're incoherent. And it's no wonder that by 11 or 11.30, you haven't accomplished much or you feel like you've been kind of overworked and you're a little discombobulated. You have regular, predictable, tractable practices that you know you can accomplish first thing in the day. It's not necessarily just about the practice, it's not about having a well-made bed, it's not about making a cup of coffee, it's about you being in control of the control circuits. Because you have these brain circuits that are involved in controlling yourself and setting blinders on yourself when you need to and moving forward towards those goals. And if you don't practice those circuits, you don't take control of them, your brain is perfectly happy to go get dopamine any number of ways, get serotonin any number of ways. And so you can train up focus, you can train up goal-directed behavior. And what's cool about it is it's an amplifying effect so that pretty soon you get up in the morning, you find yourself naturally in forward motion and naturally targeted on specific goals.